Wait, oh, oh, yeah, only another three years and then we'll fix it. You're being attacked by a ferret. Don, how'd you get a ferret? Make it train simulator free to play, but over 9K in microtransactions? Bro, who doesn't like $9,000 in microtransactions? You know what? How about we do that for pay for paying? We just actually no, that would be a great idea. Let's just microtransaction pay for paying. That sounds like a winning strategy. All right, guys. Round two. Last thing I'll read here. Just uh, here to see some Arma 3 gameplay. Did not see any yet, but I learned a lot about ram and farming. Well, uh, Zonder, that's because we were in intermission, but you're about to get your witch, buddy. All right, so uh, this is Friday Night Fights. We are in round two of the quote-unquote early, also known as the EU branch. Let's go ahead and read everything here. So nothing broken down on the briefing, just some additional details. Again, this is ad sector, so the defenders, as long as they have a person alive in a sector, the attackers can't move in and control it. Uh, all of the defenders in the sector have to be dead knocked out or in a vehicle or turret for them not to count in the sector and once that criteria is met any of the attackers can then move into the sector and automatically take it there are going to be three sectors for this fight mission variables here there's a thousand meters of max render distance no magnified optics nor nvgs and default folder points are 150 usually the number is 125 medium anti-tank settings both sides have two at rounds no he per rocket launcher Otherwise, starting with Blue 4 here, they're going with the modern American Army camouflage. Quick breakdown of the roster. You have your platoon leader kit, your sergeant, your squad leader, your team leader, auto rifleman, auto rifleman assistant, grenadier, grenadier IR, who have the hunt IR rounds, little 40 millimeter cameras you fire into the air and then you can control. That give you a nice bird's eye view of the area around you. Machine gunner, machine gunner, assistant, combat engineer, light anti-tank, medium anti-tank, one and assistant, medium anti-tank, two and assistant. Uh, recon infantry, recon infantry, scout and sniper don't exist anymore, so don't worry about them. DM, your designated marksman, which you have one in alpha, one of Charlie. Uh, they're gonna have the Mark 11, which is chambered in 7.62 by 5.1, NATO uh, with 20 round magazines, which is quite nice. Your crew leads, your crewmen, your pilot, your medics, and your base kits. Loadout for these guys is going to be a mix of M16A4s and M4A1s, uh, which are single shot and three round burst, 5.56 five, by 4.5 caliber weapons. Otherwise, your secondary is going to be the Glock 17. Light anti, uh, excuse me, light machine gunner is going to get the M249. Medium machine gunner is going to get the M240 Golf. Light anti tank is going to be an M136 single shot disposable AT launcher. Recon doesn't matter because they got scrub. Crew and aviation get a choice of an MP7 or an M4A1. Nothing on crew served weapons. Blue Force Vix include eight transport Humvees, which I believe can only carry four people. Uh, you've got two transport trucks and then two M240 Humvees, which uh, just have a 240 Bravo up top. Um, what you see right there, which has a massive amount of ammo that is 2,200 rounds total. Math. Otherwise, you're going to be hearing people's local comms because of how I've set up the TFAR plugins thanks to Ilbenex help. And this is their starting point. So looking at their commander, we have Newton commanding Platoon HQ, Lusode commanding Alpha, Block commanding Alpha 1 with Timek NASA, Roy DeCamper, Depso, and Psych. That is definitely OFCRA NASA. Uh, OFCRA is the Thursday PvP event I cover, uh, and he is playing with these guys, which are our, uh, all from OFCRA as well, so it's great to see him trying it. Pro Hunter uh, leading Alpha 2 with Solomon's Camarade and Goku under him. Papega Pirates with Arma Jesus uh, leading Bravo HQ with Guy Fieri, Artisan, Cake Gear, Legal Action King, and Korvac under him. Flux leading Bravo 1. So it looks like they merged Bravo 2 with um, Bravo HQ, and they'll probably do it with Bravo 1 as well. Flux leading Dream, Bronson, Roster, Bant, and Saren. Bant, I would say, the best player in all of Friday Night Fights. Again, they're probably all going to merge that group together. And then Valetarian leading Charlie with Skits, Zombie Forever, uh, Shadow Fairy, Shut It Down, Daedalore, and Zali under Charlie 1. Charlie 2 has Eric Hiru leading Gazog, Mike, Major Khan, Ash, and Banks under him. For those of you that are new, how the squad breakdown works is you have your squad leader under the HQ element and then your team leaders uh, with the slashes in their name right here that are in charge of the teams themselves. Uh, otherwise, Delta looks like they've merged everyone into one group, which is why you see that this group is bigger than that group. Um, it's Pierce. This is what Pierce does. Uh, Pierce is a squad leader uh, because if he was up top, he'd be the team leader under Delta 1. But if this was Delta HQ, the top name here would be the squad leader instead because of how things work. So he's merged everyone together. So Pierce leading Khalil, Nicholas, Blast, Heartseer, Coco, Raposo, Mail, Mitten, Shun, and Rodrig. 
So we know that Khalil is the Delta 1 team leader. Mittens would be the Delta 2 team leader because the only way to get this group that big is if you merge those two teams together and then they usually put the squad leader in as well. Gamma 1, which is going to be one of the two vehicle crews with the M240 on it, is going to be Swola and Tackleberry. The other one's going to be Wheaton and Arcor. Otherwise, that is that for that one group. Going and looking over to Green 4. We're going to go ahead and look at their roster information first. We have for their uniform, it's going to be the 200, uh, excuse me, the 2010 Middle Eastern Coalition kits. Uh, going to scroll down to their designated marksman. It looks like to be an SVD. I look at it there because it's not shown in this breakdown here. They get a choice between AKSs and AK-103s. Uh, most of them, if not all of them, are going to choose the AK-103 because this is simply what they can choose out of the two. Handgun's going to be the MP443 Grotch. Uh, light machine gun's gonna be the RPK with 45 round banana mags. Medium machine gun's gonna be the PKP with 100 round 762 by 54. Uh, light anti tank's gonna be single shot RPG 26. Recon doesn't matter. And then crew and aviation get a choice between a PV2000 or an AKS, but I don't think there's any crew and aviation slots in today because there's no vehicles on Green Force side. Looking at their roster, we have Mountain Commanding with McKenzie as the platoon medic. Alpha is going to be led by Oddball with Lurch as the squad medic. Mac Marine leading Alpha 1 with Sam, Guardian, G Legs, Vagrant, and Fred under him. Shy leading Alpha 2 with Olaf, Revolk, Seismo, Piros, Mutant, and Kale under him. Bravo is going to be uh, Scandi Recon with Azariah leading Norse as the squad's medic. Kazuo leading Bravo 1 with Yanni Whiplash, Nimia, Dobbs, and Flying Finn. Nafs leading Bravo 2 with Cullis, Puma, Perton, Nemesis, Nielsen, and Katz under him. Popsy leading Charlie, with Charlie 1 be led by Yuru with Archer. Um, Mercs, that's what I'm going to go for there. Andrej, uh, Leziak, Settler, Misfit, and Church under him. Delta 1 is just going to be a fire team size element with uh, Yarslav leading Warkus, Gog Gogic, uh, Butcher, Jabi, and Bard. And then you have uh, Delta HQ, the squad leader, being Adjuri. He's either going to squad lead or he's just going to merge under that team. AK-103 is 762. Thank you for letting me know, Maz. So 762 for, uh, by 39 versus 556. We'll just have to see how all that goes. Pay for Pain is tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to listen to these guys' plan real quick. Alpha, you defend the south. Charlie, you'll defend the west. And any other... Ilbenek is playing, yes. Posture check. Oh yeah, Delta, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be doing that too. He'll be different. Unless you want to send, you can send your uh, RPG gunner down to. Nah, defend the sector three. Because they got Falcon does not play FNF anymore. I don't see him in OFCRA either. <sighs> we'll see. That's up to him. All right, otherwise, looking at the sector, sector one that we have right here, it appears to be this little grouping of buildings. It's got this nice overwatch element from up here, a lot of open area behind it, and some tree cover in this little valley with some forest and whatnot. Not a bad sector, but also pretty tough to defend. Sector three over here is just a massive open area, uh, which could easily be locked down on all sides with their fortify tools. So that's a really good one. It's got low ground going up to it. So if they just set up the defenses at the base of these open areas, they can pretty much lock them down. And then sector two appears to be where they spawn at this little hamlet area over here, similar to sector one, it's in the valley. It's got some open areas uphill uh, to its sides, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm liking this sector the most at the moment. I never win, yeah, I know. Who do I think is going to win? I'm going to be honest. Every time I pre like confidently predict someone will win, they lose. So I don't really predict anymore. <laughs> All right, so Blue 4 can attack from two separate areas. We've got some people coming down in the valley. We've got some setting up over here as well to move in. You guys are blind. Who cares, man? We have like 10 minutes. We have, like a little, we have like six We're minutes, like ten show. minutes, like thirteen minutes. Get him on. Oh, look at the flag. Who do I think is gonna lose? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh my god. All right, well. I'm not sure how you guys are gonna be able to support on sector one. It seems like 
kind of far away. I hydrate, don't you worry. So if you think that you might be... I'm gonna say Blue Force is gonna win. Uh, ...being effective on this hill here. Move up there and suppress, okay? Uh, but if not, uh, stay here until they cap Sector 1, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Alright, <clears throat> uh, we yeah. done? Yeah. Uh, yes. What do you want to do with golf? Can I take three um, then? Golf, yeah, go with uh, uh, So blue four, uh, all right, sides get a sharpshooter uh, on uh, yeah. Alpha and Charlie. Yep. So it's two marksmen total yeah, per side. And they have some very important roles in uh, open maps like uh, these. That's a good idea. No. Vehicles that's like, I don't want to do a bomb rush. Uh, not, to... not the plan. Newton. But they need the speed. What? I was thinking uh, we wait off. Push Blue 4 have the Mark 11s. Yep, Op 4 have SVDs. Push, uh, from Sector 1 to Sector 2, I think uh, that's where you need golf. So, yeah, those yeah, vehicles have a that, lot of ammo. Yeah, that might be true. Down. That might be true because that's the best. you can yeah, you can get cover. Uh, so they're then we got planning on doing an attack at Sector 1 yes, and pushing to yes, 2 and then 3. Okay, so sense. we'll wait behind uh, Charlie Alpha, wait for them to push in. And then we, they capture Sector 1, we'll push Sorry to hear that, Sector Wilmoth. 2 and support. Uh, on sector three, good fire okay, support on um, sector three. Yeah. How about this? Uh, you guys go with Bravo. Uh, you suppress the town with the Humvees. Uh, when they cap okay. the town, your guys are gonna push and advance to sector one with Charlie. Okay, from mm. here, I think you yeah. have a better chance instead of going through okay. the road. So yeah. sounds good. I'm gonna make it on another color. As soon as blue, the okay? starts tickling down the hill, we'll go up behind them and spread. Uh, we'll, go up. You don't have to put us on the map, we'll take the freedom of maneuverability, I know what you want from us. Okay, okay. Yeah? Then okay. that's pretty much it. Any have any questions? Hasta oh, luego. No? no? Perfect. Uh, then go to sector 2, guys. Oh, well, you can move the car, right? Yeah, uh, go to Bravo position. Hmm. Alright, so they're basically going to just try to do an L attack here. Sector 2 is not going to be covered. Sector 1 is going to have some defenders in the town itself. Who is covering, though? It's Scandi. Oh. I'm going to be honest. Based off of where the dice are falling, I'm a little bit worried because this is putting Papega on the forefront of an offense in Bravo. And they're going to be attacking from the high ground areas here, allegedly. Scandi, I would say, is really good in towns, but so is Papega. In all directions. So I'm going to leave them there too. I'm going to sit here with your squad, or I might end up up there with them, actually. I'm going to go up there with them. Yeah, I'll go up there with them. Um, so, yeah. Why calling? One sec. Because it's, it's, a, it's a shitty position for them to be in, okay? Okay. <laughs> Right, and you guys are just look. Uh, yeah, I said. Sit down the eyes. Maps. Who the fuck is I? Who am I? Alright. So here's the here's the one issue I'm running into. Scandi fighting a massive force or Papega fighting a massive force. Almost every time Scandi or Papega eventually lose, they're able to take out a lot with them sometimes. But when both of them go head on, they kind of cancel each other out. So that's Green Four's elite troops, which is going to leave them only with a defense right here. Which, granted, this is all really open area that's easy to defend. But do you think Blue Four will then be able to come into the low ground right here and push up? Now, the last time we saw a defensive AO in this actual area, the defenders won hands down. That's also because they tried to attack from multiple different directions and got chewed out in the open. Plus, the defenders had BTRs and all these additional assets that really helped murder anything that came in through the open. So this round is going to entirely depend on how well Scandi does in the beginning against all of the attackers. So we'll see how things go. Project with the kit. Which project? Because there's a lot of projects up in the air right now, admittedly. Some I can talk about, some I cannot. That I will. Well, already leaked, but I'm not allowed to again. Yeah, basically. So this is a one life scenario. All of these rounds are one life scenarios. Yeah, I do dislike this area as well because it's really difficult to attack because you have no choice but to rush it because of how open everything is. But if you have a half decent AT guy on the defensive side, they'll just blow everything away. Oh, the kid zombies that um yeah, so that server is Ghost Wolves, and I think he's still waiting on mod updates, unfortunately. Oh, no, 
But again, the the end game plan, hopefully by the end of this month, is to be on three separate DayZ servers and each, uh, give each one some time every week. And, uh, you know, let you guys troll me on that. Fan. So Scandy's going to Whisper. <clears throat> We're seeing a massive infantry charge go right here. Are you up? You're not Panzer here. I need vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you need Looking over here, you got blue for some units coming down the valley. Some already coming up the ridge here because they're going to get on Overwatch. Blue for Bravo is going to be for Pega. That's the Iraq experience. Or, well, for Afghanistan, but yeah. Yes, you know, Ildenex plugin is doing really well. Few distances, a kilometer maximum. Hey man, that's a good use. That's a good use. Look, the Humvees are the Trojan horse, King. They're gonna see all those Humvees, Humvees coming down the road. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just yeah and they're just gonna shut think. Up, Look, they're, they're gonna up. think. Shut up. Wait, I hear a Humvee. Yeah, it's gold. Oh my god. Wait, if the vehicle. Hold on. Yeah, they came around in the back. <clears throat> Classic Papega. Hey, Owl. Uh, a, a real question, though. I, I, I do have a real question for you. Why is Golf coming over here? Because isn't the point that we're supposed to be, like, sneaking in? Like, no. Grandpa, can you just go on yelling? Well, next <laughs> can you just go on yelling, Grandpa? Oh my god. Denied. What's the That's game? a stupid idea. Bronson, uh, allegedly Mr. Grandpa here is uh, very confused. They can talk How much flux has changed? Yeah. Take your, oh wait, oh he's right, he's right. Oh my god. Welcome to the banter as people do their maneuvering. Fucking assault pack? Yeah, do us a favor. Grandpa Bronson is definitely a little confused. That's okay. It's the it's the Afghanistani heat or whatever Middle Eastern country this is in. Yeah, it's multi -cam, but fucking... Yes, this is how your grandpa would get to school. <laughs> They'd walk That's ten like, kilometers in this. Oh, there, Papega Pirates is a casual community. They're not gonna move in line. <laughs> like, oh, it's, it's just. Have you ever considered Flux that it's probably the sun? Scandi Recon has spotted them. Which group? Yeah, you hear the shooting. Yeah, so they're firing at the Humvees. We have more enemy contacts. 277, 852 meters. We have two squads at least. Shooting in the valley. Yeah, we got the We got a bunker in the east. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, fucking hell, 
Just no, that's very good. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Yes, it is a bad There you go. Go. Blue 4 committing to these pushes. A little worried about Scandi. Again, they're going to probably get overwhelmed. coming in as well. One dude dead. That was Purton. Nemesis yeah, might take the PKP here. Oh, did the map command not update? It's Sakistan. fighting right now. Alright, just one casualty there. I don't see any casualties on Blue 4 yet. Humvees are also engaging. Oh, that would have hit! Oh dear. Hey, what's up, boys? I don't think I ever saw him. I haven't seen him. So it was Yanni making those shots. Looks like he's still searching for him as well. Oh my god. Yeah, that's making them pull back. There's no shotguns with doomsday rounds. Uh-oh. Oh, you have to hear the door, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god! Oh! Well, that got messy, but I think that was a two to three ratio there. Now you got Puma out here trying to get some pickoffs. Oh, it's not enough. Got casual down up there. Not a lot of green four remain in this town. They're just simply getting overwhelmed. You got some green four all around right here as well. Two Humvees stationed over yonder.
Four AT being fired. All the way up at Platoon HQ. Did that go slightly over? They're landing incredibly close with that AT. Some return fire on hard points. Nemesis knocked out. I don't know, guys. Scandy's doing their best, but it might not be enough. You already see a good chunk of skulls on them, and only a handful of skulls remaining. Artisan getting noob tube there. Bronson crossing the street, but not looking both ways. You hear dream on normal right now. He's trying to vault in to find an angle on him. But this isn't a... just Azariah in here. My god, this... Yep. I was worried about this playing off like this, and it's it's happening. The rest of Scandi's desperately trying to pull back. They're engaging dudes way in the open over here. It's, it's, of course, it's King just messing around. It's so fun to listen to their local comms, guys, because then you get an understanding of this is why some people are the best players. It's because they literally just yell and meme around. The king dodging bullets, yep. Oh my god. Did he even, I think he hit plus once. Yeah, there's the double tap. And it is reporting they found Scandy in the house. A little worrisome right now, though. Looks like they're taking some friendly fire now. As the rest of uh, Scandy has come onto this complex here. What was that? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. So Whiplash getting flanked. He's going to be forced to uh, fold into that building. There's only five defenders right now. Blue 4 have a slight weakness of... <clears throat> they're just trickling forces in, so maybe... We could see Scandi maneuver around, but they're starting to get flanked as they come in. They're down to four now. Whiplash getting flanked by Roy DeCamper. 
Grenade landing in Yanni's building and taking him out because the grenade landed right on top of him. Green Force down to three, and it looks like Casual is making the call to run out. Nim's following. Nem is pinned down. Explosives going off. Not sure if it did much. Now you're starting to see some of Green Force taking off. Casual's knocked down. Nim trying to run. Pete firing at her rear. Nim taking fire from the ridge and is cut down. This is a very nasty steamroll, and Green Ford does not have a lot to show for it, in all honesty. This is probably going to continue. That building's getting suppressed. Nem's building still taking fire. He now runs out under heavy fire and he is cut down and eliminated. And there goes Sector 1 being taken. So now Sector 2 is open. The rest of the defenders on Sector 3. You already have Delta starting to engage this position from afar. Ah, oh, man. Got it. I still haven't added the pod command, god damn it. I'll add it during intermission if you guys remind me. I know, I'm horrible. They're just literally whiffing bullets down range here. I think Delta's main point is to prevent any Green Fort from coming up and reinforcing. Now you're having this massive migration of troops that's gonna head to Sector 2 and then they're gonna attack Sector 3 from the low ground. I know these headshots are waiting to happen at this rate. You dead? Yeah. Another hit. They're getting AT out. Oh! The spotter just got headshotted too. Bro, I think he's dead. You can't fix the hole in his head, I'm sorry to say. It's a marksman. I'm telling you right now, there's a marksman up here somewhere. Where is he? Where is their marksman? I heard him fire just now. Yeah, so G-Leg's got one of the kills. Trying to see who else got the second one. Huh. Can't seem to find him. Well, otherwise, Blue 4 still moving up this area here. They're going to be slow, expecting resistance, possibly. Wait a moment, please. One sec, one sec, one sec. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to spread as soon as the red team are in. Uh, yellow team is going to mount up. And 
conduct the assault. We move our vehicle closer. Once we're in, blue team's gonna follow. Any question? All right, so Bravo is now setting up a base of fire here. You see vehicles engaging from a longer range. This is Papega. What on earth are they laughing about now? Oh god, it's a vehicle charge. Why? That's the only thing you can really do here. <clears throat> oh no. That's going to let them get their foot in the door. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ho. that was a great one. Unfortunately, Blue Four are now pushing. Who's winning Blue Four? They're going to be able to steamroll this. Good, Arma giveth and Arma taketh away. That's for sure. We got two more dead blue four guys up here. As these guys continue to try to advance, there's Sector 2 being procced. And you got some Papega Pirates members starting to push. Explosives being detonated. It's not enough. You got two trucks over here, though, that could be stolen and used to push, but we'll see. We got Papega trying to lead the charge here. Honestly, I think this round's going to be over in the next five minutes. Unless we see some pretty heavy locking down here. Double tapping on some bodies up there. Now Blue Four is going to get their foot in the door right here. GL's stopping Green Four from pulling additional forces on their final defense lines. Still got an Overwatch position right there. King getting killed by the PKP. As you're starting to see the limits of Scandi's aggression as they get to the final lines. G-Legs on that tower trying to pick people off. Grenades going out. Flying back. That is a great grenade throw. And that gets a kill. Just as a GL goes out, but it's far. Look at this chaos. Dream gets blown away. Grenade ends up on the rooftop. More grenades going over. 
Ooh, that's another gra bad grenade right there. Bayon's dead, and it gets his friend too. Blue Force being halted here. There's my hydrate. Oh, man. Here's the thing, though. That's just Papega. The rest of Blue Force now pushing. Numbers-wise, Blue Force have lost a lot in that opening push between Delta and Bravo. Will it be enough, though? Oh, my God. The orientation of some of these bodies, though. AC going into the buildings. You got the Vix also marauding around. This other flank coming around. This is going to be close. Base face was indeed gone after that one grenade. Good God. Oh, a charge thrown right next to Church and takes him out. He did not hear the beeps. Olaf getting picked off on that corner. Guy Fieri getting shot by Mutant's machine gun. Non-stop action this round towards the end. I hope it was worth the wait. A building was destroyed on the corner, causing more green four to get killed off that were using it for cover. Look at that, at least two, three, four bodies right there. Ash trying to crawl up as Vagrant fires over his head. Now you got the inner garrison of green four trying to work out here, but blue four is running out of manpower. I'm surprised G-Legs is still alive up here. He's on five kills. Mackenzie getting picked off by Newton. A Vic charge coming up over here. AT hits it, but it wasn't enough to take it out. The engine got scuffed though, it's losing speed. G-Legs might be patient right here. If he can throw a grenade, he's standing with his handgun, gets the gunner. A grenade goes off right here, that's gonna kill Lusso. Oh my God. G-Legs, I think, is out of ammo for his uh, marksman rifle. So now he's using his pistol. He gets Depso. Six kills. A blue four truck charge. Trying to call out what he can, but green four is only down to a few guys. G-Legs taking fire from multiple directions as they find him. Fred has a charge next to him, but he goes down. More charges being thrown around. We just saw Vagrant get blown away. Kiri falls to his death. He's still alive, only for him to have his binos out. And there you go. That is the rounds. My god. That went from zero to 100. It was just a steamroll the entire freaking time. Oh man. And that is the end of round two. GG to that.